I guess. Um, it's been a long time since I've done uh, painting. Um, I'm glad to be back. I haven't. I ordered another computer. And got um, canceled for some reason, so I ordered another computer, and so it should be here sometime next week. And it's HP. Um, has 500, 500 storage um, gigabytes, and I think it's a four gigabytes. So hopefully it'll be a good computer. Um, as far as I know, HP's are good computers. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping this one's going to be good. I really need a good computer. So anyway, I haven't pers I haven't got my colors ready yet. So I figured uh, I'd talk to you guys a little bit about Peter and um, the one I have. The one I have now is a nice computer. It's in Matic, and but it only has like two gigabytes, I believe, and not enough storage space. So that's why my um, video keeps unstable because of the computer. It's not, I don't think it has anything to do with the internet, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, I want to show you guys something that I did this morning before I put it on YouTube. This painting I did this morning, it's a little coffee house. Um, I made it brick and um, Trees are here, table and chairs outside, because I know how people like to sit outside. There's a welcome sign. Trees over here, and the grass is all green. And these are plants in the pot. And inside there's a table there, a table there. And this is supposed to be an awning, and flowers around with it. And these are little pathway lights and that's also light so you could sit outside and under the light or whatever I painted this this morning um, we might try that during the video now but it's not going to be the exact same thing I don't think I always end up painting something different that's okay um, Sometimes it's better to paint something different than the same. So what I'm going to do is pour blue. Also, I got a new palette. It's really nice. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 colors that you can put in there. And it's really nice because the the um, cups are a lot smaller, and so I don't add too much to it. If I do, it goes real fast. Um, so I'm just adding blue, white, and this one is a very pretty color. It's flamingo coral, and uh, I'm going to add also some yellow. we're going to do first is we're going to paint the sky. I'm going to use my, um, I just got this brush too. It's, it's called the finest touch. I don't know. I know, um, is that Salvador? I heard it's good brushes, but, uh, I didn't see Salvador at the I didn't see the brushes like that at Hobby Lobby, but I've seen a lot of uh, fine touches, and I don't, yeah, with Salvador, I have to order it online, so anyway, I'm using an 8x10 stretch canvas, and I'm just going to paint the sky blue. I 
dark blue on this side. That's how I kind of do my sky now. I paint it one side dark blue and the other side light blue. And I'm going to go down to about right here. It's going to be the horizon line. Yeah, I might make a co another coffee cafe. So, I'm going to add white. Now, this one, this one's going to be smaller because it's on a smaller canvas. So, um, it'll be much smaller. Is that what I'm going to put on? Now I'm going to add kind of a orangey, orangey sky here. Let's see, see how I do that? I kind of I let the um, blue show through. I don't cover it all blue. I don't cover all the blue. But you gotta let some of the blue show. Just a little bit, the orange. Let the blue show because it makes it really pretty. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint, or I'm going to draw out the cafe. And I use a pencil. Actually, let me go sharpen this. I have an electric sharpener here. <laughs> So what you want to do first is draw out the cafe because it might be easier that way. Um, all you do is make a couple like squares like it shows on there. Um, but I might do a little different. So um, what I might do is, oh wait, I got it. I forgot to paint the sides of it. That's one thing about stretch canvases. You gotta remember to paint the side, otherwise. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do first, like I said, I'm gonna draw out the copy thing, copy of cafe. Okay, and I'm gonna draw it out. Like that. And kind of um, draw a flat roof. That's what most cafes have. They have that flat roof. And then go down. And go across from here to there. Now what I'm going to do is add an extra roof right here, right here. And then extra window or whatever right here. And then uh, over here I'm going to add another Even though it might look different than the picture I did earlier, it's still going to be the same thing. Um, of course, this was just, no, that's okay. Anyway, um, now what we're going to do is going to add the window. And the window is going to be kind of and then 
You can make your windows as big as you want. You can even make your building as big as you want. I'm making the coffee shop kind of small because of the canvas size. But you can use you can use as big a canvas as you want or as small as you want. This window is going to be the same. All these windows are kind of curved. Yeah. Blah, blah. And you can even call it a any kind of shop. It doesn't have to be a coffee shop. It can be any kind of shop. Now, you to add brown because that's the best color to add to building. So, um, And now I'm going to have a fun brush for it. You don't want to use a real huge brush for this. Um, I'm going to try to use this one. It's a number, it's a 3 8 and it's a flat brush. So what you want to do is you want to color it in, basically. I don't know about these brushes either. They're kind of... I'm going to buy some different... These brushes are too, too hard. Yeah, that one's too big anyway. Um, try to find a small, here's a small brush, this is a number five, so that should be small now, because you got to have a small brush to actually uh, do this. Actually, the other one was kind of great, so I could have, well, no, that's okay. This one's not going to be great like that. I don't like this brush either. I just bought these brushes too, and I don't know, just I'm adding yellow to the brown, so that way. I'm going to miss this so the pink was on nicer. What I did is I added um, four paint on my mist. So We're very slow around the windows. And around the door. And I'm doing it with brown. Some of it I'm doing with yellow and brown. And yeah, I didn't want to color the whole whole building with the brown.
Now the other one had uh, flowers all around it. This one might, might, well, it might have flowers. Try not to go into your, your window because that part's going to be like yellow, I think, yeah. I always paint, well, sometimes I paint the windows yellow to make it look like it's, it's open. Okay, this, this is going to be the, this is going to be the ground of the building, so. And, I want to paint the roofs like, um, well, let's just go around for the, for these parts. Believe me, I didn't even learn how to paint a coffee house. I just painted it and it went great. So I figured I'd show you guys how to paint coffee house. Of course, this one's a little bit different than the one I painted earlier, but that's okay. It's always good to be different. Because the other coffee house had a sign they have flowers around it. They have trees. This one I might put trees on. But yeah, you just paint around the house first. And then with the roof, you paint the roof brown and white. So take the brown and the white and paint the roof. As you can tell, I don't like to use black very much. You guys should know that already. Um, so it takes over your painting. And so I might use black one, one of these times, but um, right now I just don't like to use black. So now, what I'm going to do is paint the door brown. Or actually, I'm going to paint the door brown and then orange. See how it brings out. Oh wow. Brown and orange makes a pretty color. Not orange coral. I don't like that orange, I guess. The only thing you want to leave open is because you went, like I said, the windows are going to be yellow. So, what I'm going to do, actually, let me paint around this. See, all my paintings are different. None of, none of them are the same. None of them. Um, if I make a coffee house the first time and make one second time, the second one will always be different than the first. But that's okay. It's good to have a variety of different paintings. Not all the same paints. Now I'm painting the windows yellow. Tired of Hobby Lobby. Uh, 
last week, and I spent a pretty good amount. Um, I went to go buy canvases, which I always need, and paintbrushes, which I kind of need. I got so many paintbrushes again, but I what I do is I buy paintbrushes and if I don't like the paintbrushes, I'll actually go donate them. Yeah. And then I buy the ones I do like. So that's basically what I did. So every time I donate something, I feel good about it. It's, it's nothing to feel bad about because you're doing something for somebody else and it makes you feel good. So anyway, I'm painting the windows yellow. This is kind of, well, you don't have to say it's a coffee shop. It can be any kind of shop, but, um, well, we'll just say this one's a coffee shop. Because it's a little bit big. Maybe it's a little bit big to be a coffee shop. Or it could even be a, a restaurant, a little restaurant, I guess. But so uh, now I'm going to put a. Um, it's going to be from one that end to this end. I'll do is add a little white to it that way that way it doesn't really I mean it could blend into that hood I guess and now what I want to do is try to make that a little um I don't know what do you call it um Canopy or an awning green. See, this brush is already falling apart. See how the bristles are spreading? That's, I just can't find a decent brush anymore. I have to say, so we'll have to go back to Walmart. See if I can see any brushes I like. Um, and white to that. Tell that to, can you tell that's a roof, Arnold? It's supposed to be a roof or canopy or something. On you, actually. That's what I would call it. Now, this brush is, what is this? This brush is not cooperating at all. But yeah, I might just try to. Salvador brushes. Because these brushes are just not working out. That's a shame. Some brushes and some of them aren't worth the money. I don't know how much I spent on these, but this is actually fine touch. That's what it is. It's a fine touch, alright. But, um, I just get upset when I spend money and don't get it what I want. So, anyway, that's part of the building. Uh, or, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, green, green, green. Put some green in my palette. 
And then I'm going to take the brush for and let's put green around that. Use this brush to put green around three fourths. I don't know why they always say three fourths. I don't even know what that is, but it's a flat brush, I guess. Maybe it's bristle brush. I don't know. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, and if you run into the building with your green, that's fine. Um, just don't run into where the door is. Because we're going to like put a path or something there. But if you want to, like, take it like that, and what I'm going to do is on this side, add, see how that makes a nice bush or whatever? That is pretty. And now, um, I'm taking If you go into your sky, too, that's no big deal. Um, I'm just going to cover that up. So we're going to, like, do something else there. But, yeah. Um, if you want, you can make, like, this not true. Sure, you know, shoot no, that little here. Um, I can brush it in. Or no, I can make this a tree a different brush. I'm sorry guys, I'm really not <laughs> prepared. I am, but I just get stuff sometimes to um, just get stuff. So what you want to do is Making a tree, trying to with this brush. Now, what you want to do is take your brush, rinse it out. And now we're going to have a path going. And I'm going to use brown for that. You can just scrub it. Broke the path on like that. And uh, if you want, you can add table outside, which that's what I might do. So if you use orange, what you do is take it like that, go down, make it like a horizontal, and then make that side. Kind of make like a triangle. It's kind of complicated. I mean, tables to me are kind of hard to do. That's my table anyway. And legs. I have legs. Okay. Oh, now I've got too big for the chair. Well, let me see. I probably still had a chair. Yeah. When you make a table, don't make it too close to the building or to the shop. 
because I need mine way too close. Well, I don't have much room either. Which is fine. But it's fine the way it is. Um, so now what you want to do is make some lights outside. So what I'm going to do, well, um, I don't know if I'll be able to add lights. I'm going to add some here. You know, just add a few halfway lights. They don't have to be big or anything. Like that. And what I did with my other one, I added the greenery around the door, but I won't be able to do that this time. So what I'm going to do is um, I might add I'm going to add, just barely tap on your brush. Like that. And now, what I'm going to do is add kind of like little flowers in the windows. So that way, it'll look like a coffee house or something. So, this color. I know it probably doesn't look like flowers right now, but it is, so um, it's kind of cute actually. Now what I'm going to do is you can put coffee up here. Yeah, I don't know about these brushes, man. I'm so disappointed. I think the black brush, the handle black brush is better than... Well, I don't know. I might have to uh, get what my friend has, um, Salvador brushes. Because they're probably better than any of these. But anyway, um, I don't know what else I need. Um, of course, the, the roof can be a little bit darker. If you make your roof too light like I did, just add some brown to it. It is kind of white. And I don't want my roof to look like snow. So just add a little brown and I'll make it go back to normal. If anybody likes coffee, that's great. I love coffee. Is I drink a little too much sometimes. I think coffee's probably one of the healthiest choices. I keep hearing that, but it might not be now, but it used to be the healthiest choice. See how I did my end of my roof? I kind of pointed out. That way you know that's roof. But yeah, you can make your coffee house as big as you want. I mean, it's your painting. That's Let's see if I can put one right here.
I like Coffee House, so I really do they do a good job at even though they're kind of pricey at times, they are pricey. But they're good. If anybody likes coffee trip uh I like the uh, Caramel Macchiato Coffee House. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Um, that's probably pretty much the only thing I order. Um, I don't order that much when it comes to coffee. I mean, I don't really go to coffee houses all that much either. But when I do, that's what I usually order is co Cafe um, Caramel Macchiato. So, um, what else I need to do here? I'll take this brush and I'm gonna just fill that in because make sure you don't see any of the um, white canvas. Alright, we do cover it up like I'm doing right now. Those are supposed to be trees, but we'll just be, we'll just pretend that they're in the distance, <laughs> which they are. So, um, so uh, I'm just doing a little bit clouds. Another cloud back here, small cloud. If, if you notice, there, uh, there's different uh, types of clouds and different shapes of clouds. Not every cloud is the same. Um, I always think my clouds aren't very good, but when you think about it, they're all different shapes and sizes, so but here's my coffee house. And um it wasn't too bad. Um it's only like brown, green, yellow, orange, white, and blue that I only use most six colors, so it's not too bad. Um but I'm going to have to do the thing over again, the, where the window is. There. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add white, or white and brown for the top here, like a shadow or a highlight. Oh, and I'm always, I always also wear my apron when I paint. Because if I don't, I get it all over my pants. And then acrylic, one thing about acrylic is very hard to get out of your clothes. Once it's in your clothes, that's it. You mix up your clothes. And so when I paint, I always 
try to remember to wear an apron. Yeah, you always have to try to remember to wear an apron. Because I've missed up quite a few pants already. And it's not very good to miss a pose. I hope you guys can sell this in the audience because it is. So, <coughs> I don't want to add too much white to this because I just don't want to add too much white. What do is kind of wipe it off. Do it again. Now you could also, if you knew how to do a round part, you could do that too. Um, I really don't know how to do a round like window here. I don't know how to do that part. That would look cool though. But this is my copy house. Pretty cool, huh? But as soon as it Eyes, you can sign it with the marker. Or it's kind of hard to sign it with the paintbrush because it gets messed up. So I always sign my stuff marker. It's just easier for me. Now what I want to do is add some highlights to the table. I don't have that much paint, so there's a table, and I need a leg over here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do tables very well, but I think the sign is pretty cool. Um, I'm wondering how I can do that round. Uh, I might be able to hold on. Let's try it like this. Uh, well, oh, I messed it up. Oh, well. Well, wait a minute. Maybe I didn't. Hold on. I can probably have one over here. That way it'll look more like an awning. Yeah. Does that look more like an awning now to you guys? Looks pretty good, huh? I don't know. I like to do houses, coffee houses, and cabins, and stuff like that. I like to do that instead of just landscapes. But yeah, um, I think what else I could add. Uh, I could probably add a light post. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some more. Now, the difference between this brush and this brush, if you can see the difference, this one is kind of hard. This one's smooth. So that's the difference. These ones are kind of hard to spread on. They're not the best brushes. It's always good to try different brushes because a lot of them are better than others. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add like see I finally figured out what I was going to add. At first I was like, well, should I add light or no? And now I'm like, well, I'm going to add light. So. Post. Now I'm going to add a little light. Or a little lantern. I'm just going it. And what you want to do now is put a little light in there. I get yourself a little light. Pretty cool, huh? Nice, huh? I like I like painting. And I'm getting much better than I was. When I first started I wasn't this is I mean I was good but I wasn't really really good like I am now. call myself a professional artist now. Before it was just the artist. Now I'm pretty much professional at it. So I might not be like a real pro when it comes to art. But but it doesn't matter um painting says 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 a thousand words just by painting it so it tells you a thousand words and um, it's really nice to paint so um, I would add some furniture inside but that would be too much so yeah I'll just keep it like that and I could add like flowers or something on the outside. There. Now there you got it, coffee house. Anyway, I guess that's all I have for now. Um, everybody, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I hope you have a good day. And make it a good day, and uh, stay warm if it is cold out, and be safe, and have a great weekend. Bye now.